All right, guys, what's going on? Teddy Bridgewater, week number three breakdown. New York Jets. Um, you know, I went on the radio and did a bunch of Broncos stuff this week, and I kind of talked about how the game plan felt kind of recycled, not necessarily like super new for the New York Jets specifically, but kind of recycled with some new wrinkles. And at first I think I was kind of disappointed, but the more that I watch this tape, the more excited I am because the wrinkles formationally kind of created new plays. Not really, but new plays. So we'll get into that. Before we jump into it, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. Really helps out the channel, or like I always say, you can wait to the end and then hopefully I will earn it. So let's jump into the tape. First one we're gonna talk through, which is something that you guys probably are kind of shocked. Hey, Tim, how the heck did this make the breakdown when other things like deep balls or cool scrambles missed it? Well, it's because I love drive starters. When I'm talking about a drive starter, I'm talking about, hey, an easy completion to get the offense's feet moving forward and get your quarterback in rhythm. This is just what we would call Oki Hick. Okay, the Oki side is a speed out with a stick. You're gonna read this thing outside in, one to two. Okay, and then Hick backside, I will draw it for you, is just double hitch. Uh, actually, I think the Broncos run a variation of Hick with a stick. So I think you'll see KJ turn outside. But Teddy's just gonna read this thing outside into the boundary. And I love it, man. Boom, they give you quarters, right? Look, you see how this safety kicks back and gives you guys quarters? Okay, you guys see that safety bailing in the boundary? They just give them quarters, easy speed out to the boundary. Six yard gain. I love drive starters. I don't like them, I love them. Because I think they are so critical to an offense staying on time and getting your quarterback in rhythm. Doesn't matter what level you're at, if you run Oki, I'm a fan of yours, okay? So, I should be honest, that's a new concept. We haven't seen Oki from the tight yet. So, that was a new concept. You gotta be honest, you know? This to me, man, this is the one that I yelled at on TV. I was so excited when I saw it. We got a little X Samurai F Shallow special. So Samurai, you guys know, boom, what's Samurai? We've got the deep overrunner here, okay? So he's running deep over, he's trying to pull him, but most importantly, he's trying to pull this corner that's locked man on man. We've got the shallow special. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Sirens. Office must be in a sketchy area of town. Anyways, we've, we're trying to pull the, this corner that get to run with and get the safety to come downhill, and then we're gonna sneak across this shallow special that's gonna turn up right here. Great play design. Uh, I got one more thing I want to cover there. Sorry, and that's Teddy. We're in rock right, which is we're going to sell boot and then pull up over the uh, kind of play side tackle alignment. So boom, you see Teddy, Teddy sells it. Look at his eyes. Where is he putting those eyes? He's trying to put those eyes front side to keep this guy there. Then he gets back to it, drives it up and down right in time for that safety. That's just great design. They run shallow special out a lot of different looks. This might be my favorite. You can see Teddy trying to work his eyes to hold that safety and then gets back to it, delivers an up and down ball. This is again, so we've seen Flutie before, right? Well, what's Flutie? Remember, we got the post with the sail. Okay, you've got this post route right here and then you got the sail route right here, okay? Now they're just formationally changing it. They're gonna zip down to it, so they're gonna bring the Z down. They're gonna try to get these guys to be somewhat aware of each other, a little in and out call and you're gonna see this guy just gets burned by the combination of KJ plus the slight rub that happens downfield. So you guys can watch it sort out. You see this? You wanna know what else this guy was yelling at this corner? Or the safety? This guy's thinking to himself that they're gonna get some of the samurai stuff that they do with the deep over. That's part of what these guys are thinking. They're also thinking, hey, cover one, I got help inside. Boom. KJ turns on the brakes, gets to the sale, easy third and nine. Anytime it's an easy third and nine conversion, you gotta be excited. I don't know what that little, the KJ did, but I kinda like it. Now oh, that was a bummer, man, that we lost him for the season. He's a tremendous player, competitor, love it all. This is the start of the good bad. So we got some good bad this week. This is what we would call Pepper X Blaze 8. Pepper is double post concept. Okay, middle of the field closed, they're gonna run it like this. If it were middle of the field open, you would see more of a true post. The pepper concept, you're gonna spray release, get vertical, sell post, and then get to the speed out. 
What you're going to watch is KJ does not do a good job selling post. Teddy then plays late to it. So you see how he doesn't really sell the post. He's got to sell the post there. I know this is a blaze eight. I've seen them run this concept too many times. Okay, so instead of the blaze eight, he just kind of gets out of it. Teddy's late, sails it to the sideline. Okay, you've got to get that in break from that receiver, okay? So the good bad is KJ's route. You know, obviously I'd love to see Teddy adjust on the field, but anytime you're expecting one route and then you get something else, it's just less than ideal. So this one's a little more in-depth good bad. This one's... This one's tough, so they're just running naked right with a slider. Okay, you're gonna read this thing, really, you should read this thing top down, right? And then alert this versus sync. Okay, and then they've got Fant in the rear view, meaning, hey, we get all this pursuit over here. We want you to work in the quarterback's rear view. So when the QB's out here, he would have to throw back to you against pursuit. So Teddy does first a great job of the pump to get that guy vertical and then get back. A lot of people, myself included, were talking about, hey, Cortland Sutton, me and Ryan Edwards were talking about, hey, look at Cortland Sutton here. I think this defender sinking kind of spooks him. I would actually love to see Sutton work to the more, hey, the midpoint between these two defenders. Right? You'd love to have him have a little bit more feel there. But I think 20 is what spooks Teddy, and then he works back inside to his rear view. So it's labeled as good, bad, because, like, listen, if Sutton and Teddy were kind of a little bit more on the same page and working to some middle ground, it's really... We could have had... Sorry about the big yawn. We could have had a touchdown, okay? Instead, I think he feels 20 sinking, so he works back inside to his rear view, which I like just as much, okay? Heck of a throw. Good job. This is just bad right here. One, I love the design. Okay, this is Cadillac. This is Cadillac Y corner twist. Let me walk you through what all that means. Cadillac is this shallow and in combination. If you're reading the Cadillac concept, you read it shallow to the end. Okay? Then you've got the Y corner twist. Some teams read this as cornered down to the twist, other teams read it as twist up. So, one. The reason I marked it as bad is because, like, so one, I get why Teddy is throwing the corner. Anytime you have a corner route against man coverage, you like it. But when it's comboed with twist, man, I got to believe you should be reading this thing twist up to the corner. And to me, this twist runner is wide open. The other note that I would make is when you have Cortland Sutton backside on the dig, and it's cover one, I got to imagine, why not look at this Cadillac concept? Because this safety's way the heck out there. Why not take a little peek see at the Cadillac backside, baby? But to me, you got to throw the twist, and if you're not throwing twist, you got to work shallow to the Cadillac. I don't really, the, the, the corner's just not a high percentage throw on third and four. With that being said, listen, I can totally understand why Teddy got there. Um... And I don't necessarily disagree with the decision, but I just don't like the idea of throwing corner to our tight end on third and four. I don't love it. So, and it's my video, so it's a bad. Okay, double right. Oh yeah, we got just Cardinal. Cardinal's just the, the spray release go with the speed out. Watch Teddy here and Tim Patrick, man. This is exciting stuff because this is Tim Patrick going up and getting the ball. This is something that Broncos fans should be excited about. Boom. Going, winning a 50-50 ball. And not only does he do it once, but he does it twice. And that's the next clip, the final clip of this video. And this is something that I want Broncos fans to see because I think Tim Patrick is developing into a heck of a 50-50 ball guy. Boom. We got another one right here. Okay. This just Dancer F Spear. Boom. Tim Patrick again. Outside release go. Teddy does a great job with his eyes, putting his eyes to the right, trying to get this safety to go more middle, and then getting back to the left. And again, 50-50 ball, we come down with it. That's as good as it gets, man. Watch Teddy's eyes here, guys, because this is really, really good quarterback play. Look at him. Boom, throws eyes to the right. He's just trying to get that safety to somewhat move, and then he gets back left. He knows what he's got. Easy money. Great pitch and catch. So... All in all, Teddy Bridgewater, heck of a day in week three. Broncos dressing up concepts. I really liked it. 
KJ Handler injury. That's a concern moving forward. I think the Spencer kid's a heck of a player. I really do. I think Tim Patrick's turned himself into a heck of a 50-50 ball guy. He may be better than Cortland Sutton right now. And I know that's crazy to say, but I really think he might be better than Cortland Sutton at the 50-50 ball right now. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think. And then I will see you guys at another time, I guess, for another video. All right, peace.